every one of these windows is simply one of these one of these 17 different editor types. And for instance, say we we could actually change every one of these all to the 3D view if we were insane for some reason and wanted them all to be 3D views for some reason because we're nuts. Uh, and then you can all use every one of them uh, in that way. Likewise, they're all scalable. They can be moved, scaled and positioned in, in uh, pretty much any way you like. And so I've now made a mad world of craziness. So I'm going to go to File and New and Reload Startup File. But the whole point of that is to show you that um, all of these windows can be changed. You can also add as many windows as you like. Um, for instance, over here, I have this, uh, which is by default in Blender. This is your properties right here. Uh, each window consists of these little uh, bottom diagonal lines here and these top ones. And what this allows you to do is if you click on them, if you click and drag, you can create another window. And say, for instance, I wanted to have the traditional 3D um, uh, top, bottom, left, or whatever views. I dragged on that to create that window. I'll drag on this one to pull one down here. Then I'll hit one to go in the front here, and I'll, I'll hit C3 to go into a right view here, and, and then I'll just have my perspective view over here. So, of course, anything I do, I'll hit G to grab this here. Of course, you can see it going on in all the windows. Uh, if you want to collapse those windows, you simply uh, click on the little diagonal lines again and drag it over the window you want to collapse and in that way you can collapse as many windows as you want and have as many as you want so I could just drag a bunch of these horizontally out like this and uh, keep getting a bunch of views you can also create them through the bottom diagonal arrows also but I'm going to uh, drag these over and collapse them because I don't want a million different crazy views but of course, um, you can, and say I pull this down here and I want to turn this into another um, outliner view like I believe it is by default in Blender. Um, and I get into in a little bit why I have my outliner down here and not up here because I think it just clutters things up too much. But the idea is that Blender is just a series of uh, the one of these 17 different editor types and we'll uh, go over all of these uh, or most of them throughout this series and we're gonna get a uh, some mastery over this thing but it's it's a uh, pretty good to know that uh, blender can be customized however you want and if you come up with an idea to uh, change things around as you're working and, and as you get more comfortable in blender you know it's fine to do that it's fine to uh, rearrange your windows and create new ones and uh, just make a layout that makes sense for you. And once, if you've done that and you really like that layout, you can go to File and Save User Settings, and then when you reload Blender, it will save exactly like that. Um, and of course, if you've turned it into a nightmarish hell world, you can just simply go to File, New, and then click Reload Startup File. But I'm going to go ahead and go back into Front View, and duplicate this, control to move it over, select that, put D, control to move it over, and get these cubes uh, set up how I had them before. And in the next video, we will go over a few more basics. <laughs>